Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at some of the best design tools, resources, assets for UX UI designers out there. And this month we have a bunch of new launches as well as a lot of cool AI stuff that I'm a huge fan of. Now Figma has a new AI design tool that I'm super excited about called Musho. This is, this is something you can find for free in the community and it's created by Pablo Stanley. This little tool is powered by ChatGPT4, so you know it's kind of powerful. Immediately, I have this nice little cute SVG animation right here, which follows my mouse. And, and then I can start creating one page web design. So in this case, I can say dog food selling website. Perfect, and I'm gonna click on this little arrow to make it work. As you can see, it is now doing things in real time. Here, things are being added, including images, text, little layout sections are being added. Once you're done with it, as you can see, all the images, text, everything has been generated using AI. Nothing here is original or being shot by anybody else. Now what's cool here is if I have any feedback I want to give to this little tool, it will listen to me and fix it for me. So I can say better text for titles. Click on my design here and then click on my remix icon here. It says dreaming new ideas and it's going to replace, as you can see on screen in real time, all the text on screen so as to make it more convincing or better. All right, so this next tool could possibly replace resumes in the design world. This is called Peerlist Profile Version 2. You can create like an, a resume-like page for yourself online on their platform. And it has a lot of cool design quirks added to it, including this nice memoji that appears, you have tabs to showcase your skills. You can even embed your work from Figma, Behance, Dribble, etc. All in one platform. Peerlist itself is trying to become the new age LinkedIn of sorts for tech and design folks. They have their own connection boards where you can connect with other people. Similar to LinkedIn, but, but since their community is much smaller, you get to personally talk to more people and build a cool network apart from LinkedIn as well. Whoa, 3D design tools keep on getting better. Mid-November, Spline introduced this really cool 3D technique that they've added called Gaussian splatting or splating, whatever you want to call it. And here what it's doing is you can literally scan your face or an object around you and turn it into a 3D object that can be editable in a 3D tool like Spline. And boy, some of the designs people are creating using this Gaussian splatting are actually going viral as well. I'm sure you've seen this lady's face inside this glass box where if you turn it around, you can't see the lady anymore, but it's as if this lady is trapped inside this box. This could be really cool to have on your portfolio projects. I'll have links to try out all these things in the description, but if you want me to make a complete tutorial, please let me know in the comments. I'm actually working on a tutorial for you guys. Now, who is better to tell us about design trends than Figma itself? Now, this year, they've done something called State of the Designer where they're showcasing how designers are working these days, the kind of jobs they're looking at, how they are using tools like Figma, etc. So if you want to know how the world and what the world is doing in the, in the field of UX design, State of the Designer is a must have. This is useful for companies, but I think this is useful for individuals to check out what designers are doing, what are they looking for, what is the demand, how is the supply. Just check it out, I think this is a cool resource. Since we're talking about Figma, let's also talk about their cool new updates. What they're calling this are little big updates. And they've included 20 plus small changes that affect our daily design practice. My top three would definitely have to be number one. Now when you hover over a font name or even a font weight or style, it will change the font accordingly. You can even do this with the size of the text and the thickness of the text. So everything will now happen live. If you, if you like it, you select it. If you don't, you just exit. Finally, Figma comments are getting useful. Now you can actually add images, pictures, etc inside your comments, almost like an attachment to the comment. But the cool thing is you can even add GIFs. So I'm sure teams will enjoy it. You can put up a funny GIF on it or maybe a serious GIF on it, an angry GIF on it, just to showcase your emotions. Product Labs is the next AI tool that I was genuinely excited for. This is super useful and would have been useful when I was working in a company. Through this tool, you can create personas using AI. 
so you can tell it about your project etc and it will try and create a persona for you you can create journey maps for your users as well something that both ux designers and product managers both kind of do talking about being lazy designers hate making presentations simple for that pitch has introduced pitch 2.0 and what it does is on their homepage you can add whatever kind of presentation you want to make so in this case i will say dog food substitute for dogs who are traveling and in real time this will start building a nice little presentation for me wow look at this how beautifully it has designed these presentations for me nice color which is consistent all through these pages the images are absolutely beautiful cool thing is again i can change the font if i don't like it i can change the theme for this if i don't like it i can generate new color palettes on the fly and i can even edit my prompt so if i don't like something or if i want to add something i can even add something right here in real time once i'm happy i just say start editing and it gives me the slew of superpowers that they already have in their tool it is raining ai tools but ai tools for ui designers are rare right now so svg io brings that to us now we love svg icons etc being used in our designs we can generate svgs and this will be insane using ai so if i say a cupcake and i was surprised by how good the results are and every time you write a cupcake it will generate a slightly different version of this cupcake so you can literally generate unlimited numbers of svgs that look different and can give you a better idea of what you want to make they are promising 100% free no limitations no sign up and no watermark so nothing is needed and you'll get the entire tool for absolutely free it's called svg.io all right guys that was it for today's video hope you enjoyed i post such videos every single week so subscribe click the bell icon and come every week to check it out also like the video if you liked it tell me in the comments if you want any tutorials anything request anything and i'll try and do it i'll see you guys next time until next time take care god bless